I'm 80% sure I just broke my toe. <sighs> that really hurt. I put my skirt on and something like, I looked in the mirror and something fell and I'm so, like, I was 100% sure it was a spider and it landed on my foot. So I like lifted it up really quick and like whacked it down and kicked the side of my bed, like stubbed it. Oh my goodness. That really hurt. I'm so sure I've just broken my toe because the pain is getting worse and like it's throbbing. Whew, what a start to Sunday. Ouch. Oh my goodness, it hurts so bad to put my foot down on my clutch. It's throbbing and like it's so tight in my shoe. <sighs> Pretty sure I've just broken a toe, which sucks because then that means I can't wear those shoes. I can't wear those shoes with a broken toe. If you don't know what shoes I'm talking about, watch last week's vlog. <laughs> toe update may not be broken still freaking hurts but i think i might have just bruised it really bad and like bruised the nail or something nasty but it still really hurts it's like throbbing but to make myself feel better i've bought these with me from home the digestive chocolate digestive i can't talk wow chocolate digestive caramel biscuits because they are amazing and i've just made myself a cup of tea because i think it'll make me feel better also, it's not been a great morning. Firstly, I've stubbed my toe because I thought a spider was attacking me. Then there was a diversion because one of my main roads was closed on my way into work. And then when I got to work, I got a message from Katie where she was like, there's two naked homeless men sat on our step. So I was like, brilliant. Walked up like closer to the shop, didn't know them. So I just called security and was like, can you come and move them? Like, I don't know who they are. They're two big guys, like we're quite small. So they came and moved them on. So yeah, and then I like kicked my toe again. I kicked my shoe. <sighs> Literally. Today can only get better, people. It can only get better. There's a definite bruise that has formed on my toe. And I can only just fit it in my shoe now. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm going on about it, but it really hurts. <laughs> Good morning, welcome to my car. It's Tuesday and we're off to get this beauty MOT'd. I'm really nervous. I feel like she's gonna fail. I don't know what she'll fail on, but I feel like she's gonna fail. Don't know why. I always get nervous about MOTs. I'm just like, please don't cost me a fortune. <laughs> But yeah, my MOT is at 10, it's now 9, so I need to go, so I've got to be there a little bit early. Um, then I have my eyebrows and my hair appointments, so getting a little hair trim, definitely needed, ready for the wedding, and my eyebrows done for the wedding too. Good, that means it's one less thing for me to worry about. Um, then I need to go into town and return some bras to Primark. Then I need to take this watch back to work because I've accidentally brought it home with me, so I was like, I'm just going to wear it, then I know I've got it, and take it back over. Because uh, it's a nice day, so I might as well walk over to the other side because Primark is the other sli other side to work So it'll be like a five ten minute. Well, it depends what my toe feels like to be honest um, I didn't vlog yesterday. Don't really know why I had a really nice day yesterday actually um, Work was fine was a really nice day and then after work me and Katie and Zoe went to Starbucks and had a catch-up Because if you don't if you remember Zoe's left she left about two weeks ago now um, and I haven't seen her properly so we went to Starbucks had a little catch up which was really nice we had so much to catch up on a lot has happened in two weeks so I really enjoyed that it was really nice to catch up with Zoe and then here we are right now in my car going to have my MOT everyone cross your fingers and your toes and your tongues if you can <laughs> let's go I was a little bit early, so I popped into Morrison. Thanks, Rachel, for leaving your Beyonce CD in my car because I've been listening to that the whole way here. There are so many cars in this car park that I want right now. So many. She passed, although I have got um um and needs urgent attention. I've got a coolant leak in like one of my water pumps. Brilliant! Um, but I need to book it in. I need to book it in separately for that, but I don't know when I'm working, I can't remember, so I need to call back up to book that in. Also, don't know when it'll be a good time to do that because of things that are going on right now. 
which I'm sure you will hear about soon, but I'm not saying anything about it yet. Just in case it doesn't happen, and then I look silly. Don't I? So, just in case it doesn't happen, you're not going to know about that. But believe me, you will know in like, probably like a week or two if anything happens. But yay, she passed. Thank goodness. I like transferred money from my savings account and everything today, like to prepare myself just in case it's going to cost me a fortune. Look at these minis behind me. <laughs> but like one of the only good things about having your MOT and stuff is that they wash your car for you so she's all shiny Maria's all shiny and clean and I've got a little thingy thank you for choosing mini barons they've definitely changed I swear it was Elms mini before and now it's barons I don't know when that happened also this lady has insanely high heels I don't know how she's walking in them you're not going to be able to see you can't see they're ridiculous, like, platform at the front, stiletto at the back. Why would you wear those to work? Anyway, that's my opinion. <laughs> I put my sports bra on, by the way, underneath this, because it's, it's comfy and it looks cute and it works, so why not? Anyway, I'm finished super early, it's like half eleven. My um, hair and eyebrow appointment isn't till one, but I haven't had breakfast, so I'm going to go back to Morrison's and go get some food, I think, and just eat some early lunch, late breakfast and then go and see Shell and get these sorted out and this little trim. I do need to get my roots sorted out actually but I'm trying to decide whether or not to change my hair colour or not. I can't decide. Hmm, there's been there's been a few things pinned on my Pinterest board. If you don't follow me on Pinterest actually by the way, I'll link it I'll like leave it here somewhere so you can go follow me. I I love Pinterest. I'm obsessed with Pinterest. I spend way too much time on Pinterest. If you have Pinterest, let me know what your um, link is and I'll go give you a little follow because I'm obsessed. Princess parking for the win right next to the entrance of the shop. Oh yeah. It's obviously much later now because I've actually just had a nap. I'm actually in bed. I'm literally the queen of naps at the moment. I'm so tired these days. Um, but I've just ordered two other dresses for next day delivery from ASOS and some flat shoes because I obviously can't wear my heels anymore because I'm just not comfortable with those ones like I'm just not happy enough if you know what I mean so I've ordered two others and they're mini wiggle dresses um I just feel like they would look a little bit better with flat shoes and stuff and one's red and one is like a baby pink one with long bell sleeves so we'll just have to see and hope because tomorrow is my last day to be able to get anything so obviously we go Thursday so I don't think I've ever left it last minute like this. I've also ordered the shoes in a size up um, than what I normally am because they're like a ballet pump but they're slightly pointed. But I can't find anything else that I like and I want to cover my toe because it, it's disgusting people. I'm not gonna show you. So yeah, I've sized up so that hopefully they'll be a bit big for me so that they won't squash my toe as much. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. I need to pack up the jumpsuit anyway to return, so I'm going to do that now. Um, and I am going to pack those the ones up, ready to go back, because I'm just not 100% sure. I'd rather have them packed and ready, if you know what I mean, so that I can literally just send them um, for a refund, because I'm getting a little bit tight on the money side, because I've ordered so much stuff this month, like to try and find stuff for the wedding. But yes, now I've had my nap. <laughs> I literally, I'm just so tired at the moment, guys. Like, when it gets to like three, four o'clock, it's 10 to six now, and I had my nap between four and five. I just get so tired and like grumpy. I don't know. I think an afternoon nap should be an actual thing. I feel like it should be normal to like stop working for an hour in the afternoon and just have a little snooze because I feel like everyone would be much happier and much more productive. Let me know if you agree with that statement. <laughs> Look at my rosy nose, I've just taken my makeup off. I always get such red, like, nose and stuff when I take my makeup off, but I just use really gentle things, like nothing really harsh on it. But anyway, that's another story. Just completely tidied my room. Ugh, oh, I always feel so much happier once it's like all tidy and sorted and done. The dresses are all packed up, they are all in here, ready to go back. I've decided I really, they're just not right. They're just not right. Um, also, they won't look right with flats, so that's why I've ordered these those other ones because I feel like they will just look better with flats, and they will just look a bit weird. I'll just look a bit like a stumpy meringue. 
I don't know. I also moved the cat stuff, so it was by the door, but I've now put it here, and my work workout stuff is over by the door. Um, don't know why, I just felt like doing it. The sun is so bright. Uh, yeah. I just feel so much more, like, relaxed now. That my room is sort of... It, like, honestly, it was such a mess. You have no idea. And not even just, like, a car room mess, which is kind of my work clothes on the bed. Like, messy. The messiest it's been in a very long time. I didn't like it. I'm not gonna lie. It's fine. It's all done. It's tidy. Everything is in its place. Everything is packed away. It's done. Chris come back, comes back from LA super late tonight. And I sent him some pictures of some Kate Spade bags that I like wanted. Um, I was like, either of these were like equal happiness for me. But I don't think he's going to have had time to go shopping, which is really sad. Because I'd really quite like a Kate Spade bag, I'm not going to lie. Who wouldn't like a Kate Spade bag? One of them was kind of identical to, I think it's the Gucci disco bag that literally everybody has at the moment. But it's sold out and it's way too expensive anyway for me. I can't, there's no way I could buy that myself. Um, but it was pretty much identical, but obviously it was Kate Spade. My eyebrows are annoying me today. She's taking this one in a little bit further than this one. Oh, well, I'll just have to draw it in. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, but I don't think he will have had time to go in to go shopping or anything so I haven't got my hopes up for a Kate Spade but you never know you never know so after all the stress of ordering two new dresses I'm going in my Christmas dress <laughs> the dress that I wore for the Christmas party last year the red one this one I'm wearing this with some hideous shoes I literally don't look like myself I feel really weird not wearing heels to like an event but I tried to get my foot in them and I can't <laughs> like that's like I can get my foot in but A, it really hurts, and B, I can't walk on it. So if I was just going to be stood there, it would be fine, but I'm not. But the dresses that I ordered, my dress is undone. Um, just, no. Like, the pink one is the same colour as my skin, and I look like a corpse. And the red one, I felt like a grandma in. Like, I really like the design of it. And the dress itself is really nice, if I could wear heels. And in flats, it just looks awful. Like, I felt like a grandma. And then the shoes are horrible, too. And then because I ordered them in a size up for my foot, they don't fit properly. They just look really weird and awful. So I'm wearing last year's Christmas dress. And I'm going to be like the fairy on top of the Christmas tree at this wedding. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm really excited. For the wedding, I'm really excited. Not for the clothes. <laughs> Why I always go red here? My skin is always red. And I'm spot them under my nose. I guess the silver lining is that I'm now going to save money. Like when I send all of this stuff back, I'm going to get like £200 back. Nice. It's going straight in my savings account. Oh, I did something really exciting and scary today. I'll tell you more about it another time. <laughs> I literally can't express how much dry shampoo I have in my hair right now. I've, I'm on like day three and I'm, obviously because the wedding's tomorrow, I'm like I don't really want to wash it today and then have to wash it tomorrow as well. So I've just like literally smothered it in dry shampoo it looks horrendous i look horrendous at least tomorrow my hair will look nice because it will be washed my skin will look good i haven't got anything on it right now um all i've got is a mineral powder for like the slightest bit of coverage some concealer under my eyes which has literally done nothing a little bit on my eyebrows um and some mascara Oh, and a little bit of eyeshadow, but that is that is it. I feel I feel awful. I've got the same outfit on that I wore on when Tuesday because it's freaking comfortable, and I'm going to be sat in a car for five hours, so I want to be comfortable. I feel like my hair is going to end up in like a top knot on top of my head halfway through the journey because I'm just going to get fed up with it. But I'm all packed. All packed, ready to go, just need to put some socks on. This is my outfit by the way. Just my Jamie jeans with the real big rips in the knees. I'm taking my lighter ones as well to wear on Saturday. Um, my Victoria's Secret sports bra because I just really like it and it looks really nice under stuff like this. And then my Zara slouchy shirt that I've just tucked in. I'm gonna wear, that really hurt my foot. Um, I'm gonna wear my Converse. Because, again, comfy, I just need to get some socks. But, yeah, this sports bra is so nice. Like, it goes all the way down. 
can see. But like, obviously it's sports bra, so nothing moves. It's really comfy. And I just think it adds something underneath here. And like, because I've got the blue jeans on, it's all right. I think it's all right. But yeah, this is one's look. And I've got my like big cardigan as well, if I want to wear that. That's all the ASOS stuff that has to go back. There's so much money in that bag right now. But yeah, that is one's travel outfit. I wanted to wear my trainers, but I can of get one's foot in the trainers. So that's a no-go. Right, I need to text Chris and see where he is. See whether I'm going to his or if he is coming to get me. I'm going there. Let's go. <laughs> well, seven hours later and the look to prove it, we're finally here. That was ridiculous. Like, this journey normally takes three and a half to four hours. And it just took seven. I'm so tired and I didn't even drive. Chris drove in the end. I thought I'd show you our hotel room. Now we're here. <laughs> Can't bother to do any more than that. No, here we go. So we're in a twin room because it's me and Chris. And you walk in, and this is your view. We've got a skylight, which is quite nice. And you've got your bed, your tea and coffee station, with a little mirror, um, a wardrobe, and then this is the bathroom. Can you tell I really can't bother to do this right now? Shower, bath, um, but the view is really nice. Mirror, hello. The view is really nice. I've had to open the window. It's so freaking hot in here, it's unreal. Look at this view, we're by the river, look. And then, this is what I love about it up here. It's just like beautiful wherever you are. But look at the river, and the long boats. Let's open it more. Look. And then there's your view. pretty um they've invited me down for dinner i feel like i need to sort myself out before i go down and put a bit more makeup on also i literally my hair right now <laughs> is insane right let's sort oneself out also the stag do left at four it's five past six so chris is in like the worst mood ever <laughs> he needs to have a shower and stuff before he goes they've obviously all left and he's just going to drive there so, yeah, it's been a great day so far. It's much later now, it's like nine o'clock and I've just come back to the room because they're putting the babies to sleep. Um, and my life has been made. There's Netflix on the TV, so I can catch up on Pretty Little Liars because I haven't watched a new episode yet. I'm so happy, you have no idea. So I'm gonna take my makeup off, put my pajamas on. I'm doing a face mask tonight to help my skin for tomorrow. And I'm gonna watch Pretty Little Liars. Thank you. Is this the American one? I feel like this is the American Netflix as well. Possibly lying. I think it is. Yeah, US mur- Oh no, I'm just on the US murder mystery section. That, that, is, that is why. But yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Go have a little pamper, get my pyjamas, get comfy and watch Pretty Little Liars. So, I will see you tomorrow on wedding day. Aren't these literally like the scariest thing ever? <laughs> um, it's one of the Garnier sheet masks. I don't think I've ever shown you this placey by the way, that's why it's such a cool thing. Placey, the little romper. Um, just put some light bath and light on. How cute is it? He's so cute. So cute. By the way, I love this mirror because it's like, makes you look skinny. <laughs> Nearly wedding ready. I uh, tried to film a bit earlier. I'll insert it here. Good morning. It's always good when you make a artist. Hang on, someone's gonna get in. As you can see, it wasn't a great success. So yeah. But I'm um, just waiting for mum to get here because I need some hairspray and she's bought me some shoes but I'm not sure if they're going to be alright. They're like a lower heel um, but they're a size 4 so they're a size up so that, hello! Oh yeah. So that my swollen foot will fit in but then I think they're going to be too big for my other foot so I might just have to stick with the horrible flats. Um, but this is my makeup. Uh, my lips I've got. I actually really like my lips today. I've got 
lip liner from Topshop, which I have penciled over the, like sharpened over the colour name, so I can't tell you. MAC Faux all over, and then in the middle of my lips, I've got NYX Intense Butter Gloss in... Is that, I thought that was a phone vibrating, but it was a sheep. What? I thought it was going but and I thought it was a phone ringing, but it's a sheep outside. Okay. <laughs> that happened. Uh, in the colour, um, Trey Leash, if that is how you pronounce that, but yeah, I really like it. It's quite nice having like pretty much whole makeup kit with you because you can decide what you want to do with your face there and then. You don't have to decide before you leave. But the lighting in here has been really bad, so I have no idea what this is actually going to look like outside of this room. Can you hear the sheep? <laughs> Chris is turning to me. Look how many pairs of shoes he's got with him. Do not misunderstand. I options. I've only bought two pairs. Well, I bought four. <laughs> You've seen far too I feel long. like the fairy on top of the Christmas tree. <laughs> Currently just waiting for mum to get here because she's got some shoes for me. Otherwise I have to wear these. Which which I really don't want to wear. I feel like they just ruin the dress. I don't like them. They're not very comfy. Although I might have to wear them because the one she's got might not work. But Chris has just gone down to find her because it's like one o'clock. Are we meant to be down there at one o'clock? I'm like, come on. And she's also got some hairspray for me. She always cuts things so fine. Mm. run back up to the rim to like bring some stuff up they're so cute look they got me a lush box to say thank you for the makeup and it's got um a bright side bubble bar in and the comforter which is like two of my favorites as you all know so that's so cute of them i wasn't expecting anything to be honest um so yeah thank you Haley and dave if you're watching i think Haley watches the vlogs um, but my battery's flashing so i've come up to charge it now which is why there isn't much footage i've been snapchatting so i might insert or might have already inserted um, some clips from earlier from snapchat um, but I thought I'd come up and charge it now I think there's a dog or a sheep running around outside um, so that I can use it later and we get some hopefully some funny clips of people dancing and stuff what's running around that? oh it's a dog my uh, foot is a little bit black right now I feel like when I'm on my feet obviously for a long time like they go quite dark. I obviously have smudges under my eyes, so I need to sort my makeup out as well. But, yeah. Let the day continue. Someone set the fire alarm on. Oh, anything but I snapchatted a lot so I've saved my snapchat story and hopefully I managed to insert that at some point before this in the vlog if I didn't 
my apologies and if you have snapchat you saw what happened if you don't you didn't um it was actually quite an early ish night um the bar closed and stuff so we just went to bed <laughs> but it was a really really good night i had a really good time um i love being up here this is such my ha this is really like my happy place waking up to like views like this Makes me very happy. It's just very peaceful up here, I think. <laughs> um, right now, I'm waiting for Chris. It's just got very dark. It's 11 o'clock. Well, it's one minute past 11. We should have checked out at 11. But he ain't ready yet, so we ain't checked out at 11. I've been up since half nine. <laughs> and I feel fine. Um, I think I'm driving today. He, I didn't drive yesterday because... He didn't have jet lag because he managed to sleep on the plane. I think I'm driving today because he is over the limit. And I stopped drinking before him, so I'm good. I can drive. <laughs> sunburn <gasps> yep um i got sunburned yesterday um as you can tell it's not saturday anymore it's now sunday um we got home really late we weren't planning on it but we left it like half eight but we got i got home at like quarter to two in the morning so obviously the vlog hasn't been edited or anything um and it's now quarter to two um on sunday so i'm about to go sit in the garden i've put sun cream on this time don't worry. I've let my hair dry naturally as well. I just put some salt spray in it and I quite like it. This is the thing I like about summer is I can literally just leave my hair to kind of dry naturally and it goes really nice. In the winter it just doesn't. I think because it takes so long to dry in the winter it kind of just goes a bit frizzy and it doesn't look nice but in the summer it tends to go quite nice and obviously it's just been cut as well so it's nice and healthy and looks thicker. Yay! Um, but yeah, about to go sit in the garden to do some editing so I thought I would just end the vlog. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, bit of a weird week I feel. I haven't watched any of the footage so I don't actually know what I filmed this week. Hmm. Yeah, I can't, I can't even remember. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thank you so much for watching to the end if you did. Remember to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. I love you.